Hi. In this video, we're going to take a look at the active restricted areas overlay and also how the press and hold on the map function works with displaying airspace. In terms of uh, pressing and holding on the map, when you do so, you're going to get a list underneath where you tap and hold on the screen of different airspace that is underneath that point. But the first thing we need to do is set up what appears in that list, because as you can see, this one's quite long. You can actually filter it out. You go to Map View Options, Airspace, and then all of these items here which are ticked are what's going to appear underneath your finger when you tap on the screen, as it says down the bottom here. For most of Australia, all you're going to need is the top four. Once you've got those set, back onto the map, press and hold on a particular spot and you'll get the list appear of the airspace underneath that position. To get the details of the airspace, simply tap on a particular tile and it will overlay the dimensions of that airspace for you. In this case here, tap on the Brisbane CTA Charlie 09. For active restricted air airspace, this is toggled through map view options again and airspace. You'll note up the top, it says highlight active restricted areas. When you press that, it turns it off. Tapping it again, will refresh it and turn it back on. Now on the map, when you press and hold on a location that has re active restricted airspace, you'll see in the list that it comes up as red. If it's deactive, it comes up as grey. Tapping on the red tile, will show you the outline of that airspace and it will also fetch the details 